Robertson, a long ball, over coming. to Gallon, on it comes to Bird. Bird puts a kick in, looking for the fullback, Holmes is in, Valentine Holmes, he gets a perfect kick from the other young... In the moment I made the comment, well here's a ball from Lewis, down to Bird, Bird, Chilvasa, Shaq can't get him, and the youngster playing his first game in the six jumper, his second game... In a steep... A bit of a speculator to Graham now. Robson, Jeff Robson puts the early kick through Holmes. Oh, Valentine Holmes! He gets a double. The kick from Robson was perfection. Play goes back to Graham. Graham is corralled by the Titans. The cutout ball away to Beal. Beal puts the grubber and kick through. Sits in the hands now. Holmes and Valentine Holmes. A remarkable try. Teams practice for it to be absolutely perfect at training but you see tries like this never a training mind you but you see. and then Pierce puts a kick on it and it's picked up there by Holmes and he's out Look of out. the tackle he's broken into the backfield Look outside out. the 30 how fast is he Tupo comes at him so too does Guerra he's out of that tackle as well so he's broken to, broken free of two tackles but Uwe this time gets a touch it comes back into the hands of Bird Look out! The bird is in flood! He's got it away to Barber! He's a pretty good bird to have support! He'll take on Lola! About this is the last. It's come back now for Bird! Bird! He's over the line! The 20 year old has gone in to score his second! Jack Bird has got Cronulla over the line, you would think! Where his team needed something special on the Isusu D Max replay, he said, Give it a minute. I'll get you there. Reaches out, slams it down under the post, and suddenly leading by two is going to be turned into leading by eight. Oh, inside ball back away, Bird. Beautifully done, Beal. That's a forward pass, but they're allowed to go. Valentine hangs down the touch line, finds to kick that he tips. Oh, taken by Lewis, who scores. Unbelievable. Incredible try. Well, he scored the try off the same play last week when he took on Shecky. It was an outside inside ball. There's Luke Lewis, no mistake there. It was too late. He gets a pass away to Valentine Holmes. He gets away from one Valentine Holmes. Jeff Robson in support. That is brilliant. Here come the Sharks. First game in the NRL, and he produces this. We know what we can get okay, from Wade Gray. So too, Ricky Latell. He's been strong all year. But Valentine Holmes... Pass away, and this time Holmes reels it in. But now he steadies his feet, Valentine Holmes. He'll take some catching. He gets away from one. Still going, Valentine. But eventually, they bring him down. It's into the in-goal area. But Bird getting on the inside of Luke Keary. To the right again. Holdsworth down the short side, puts a kick in the air, Austin under pressure, Valentine Holmes! I think we've established that's all okay. And Holmes' catch was good. Austin trying to spoil him at the death. There's the put. You know, I don't think Mike Linus is the ultimate competitor. He, doesn't, he likes to play 80 minutes, so it'll be interesting to see how Shane Flanagan uses Ben Barber tonight. Jack Bird did well to get the ball back from Fafida. Got it away on the outside. Rotelli, he's down the touch line. Rotelli, he's got support. Back on the inside of Bird. He's in for another one. The ball came his way, and out of nothing, they score a try. The referee points for the spot. Side the 40, Holmes has got to get onto it. Favourable bounce though, he's got plenty of real estate in front of him though, he takes to the line. Holmes goes straight through them, beyond the 40, Valentine gets to the fullback Zillman, who makes the tackle. Special kid, really special kid. The first in the career of Mitchell Moses, Holdsworth goes wide, there's a reply, Valentine Holmes is in for the Sharks. Supo was the first fan down there, and now for Blake, and he's driven back by Lewis, it's loose, and Jennings, What's this out of 10? Is it an 11 or a 12? No, it's a, it's a 13. <laughs> but take it a step further, Bossy. It's tackle zero. Tackle zero. Don't put on the brake. Forwards and also finish tries for this nice way. See where he gets across the field there. He frees up his wicket. Look at this. That's awesome. How would you stop it from the away right there? This week for Manu. They get to the space, they get to the outside. He has dropped it cold. Let's give Jeff Bird the Sharks 5-8.
a massive pat on the back for his scramble because he would have been the second or third defender from the scrum and then he gets here to the corner of the main for Robson he goes to Bird now Barber out the back gives it to Beal two on one his pass to Valentine Holmes and Holmes goes in again in LG probably thought he had Barber there giving enough space to his winger and Holmes Work to do, didn't he? Yeah, as he the did. defence arrived. Good work, Jared Beale as well. Drew, the, drew his man right at the right time, and Holmes that last bit of through Barber, who goes high, end over end. He kicks towards the wing of Anthony Don, who has height, but loses the ball behind him. Picked up by Valentine Holmes, who gets another double against the Gold Coast Titans. With the kick, they gave him plenty of protection there, and it was a, a relative. Sammy Saluma plays it. Ennis tucks it around for Bird. Jack Bird goes over. The Sharks have the lead for the first time tonight. This is the final play. Ennis goes to Valentine Holmes to give the Sharks their fourth win of the year. The youngest Shark on the field wins it for Cronulla. A double, a winning field goal. What a moment. Valentine Holmes. Golden point, ice cool. Valentine Holmes. And didn't they need that? He has nailed it. A torpedo drop kick. Holmes was off the back of a very quick play. The ball by Andrew Fafita. Well set up there. The Sharks, a good defensive set of six initially in this golden point extra time and then they build up for the, the perfect finish.